they uh, they had very good players as well, but um, just um, Orcas have been training together since very long time and have been tuned up very well. So yeah. let's see. The game has started, so we got a big fight now for the ball, actually. This will be quite a heated game, I think. Uh, pr probably, because we have some Colombians also uh, on the other side, and uh, there's a lot of passion in South American blood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but then also we have um, on the Boston side, that's why I was, I think there will be a higher, but higher difference. You have some older players as well, and uh, not so fast, and maybe well, but if there is counter attacks, uh, yeah, they're good at defending, but they have to be there, and I don't know if they'll. Um, they're a bit more experienced than the Australians, so maybe they will not make the same problems, uh, mistakes in the defense of I not being there, no. uh, <laughs> but they have to be there on time because they're not as fast, I think. I, I think Boston has more experience than Australia. Yes. In the, in the, for all, they know the Colombian play much better. True. So I think they're going, they know they have to defend, and I think they don't have problem in being all the time defending, even if it's exhausting and risking for that just maybe five goals instead of really risking it and going but we have the, the couple of fastest guys they have and that's yeah. it so they're defending they're in position we have one of the orcas on on the one side but have been tackled or where's the ball oh it was a pass to the okay now it was already a free throw free throw against orcas, orcas because of holding without ball let's see But actually the uh, Narwhals had gotten the ball back and they were leaving the basket. Yeah, but we couldn't see and then Orcas recovered and then the counter-attack, Oviedo just passed and good action from the defender that intercepted that ball, recovered it and is, you know, passing it toward the surface and now they're in the counter-attack and we have defender and, and goalkeeper in position but already, look, they're almost half of the team are there already trying to help each other. Oh, there was, um, oh, okay, the, the, he didn't saw the ball or thought that it was going to be grab another of the white team. And then in the middle, still uh, trying to establish a bit of the flow of the game, the, the both teams. And now we have one of the orcas coming from the side, and I think that was a, a goal. goal, yeah. By Manuel Celis. Yeah, Manuel Celis, first goal, it took them three minutes. Good job from from Boston. That was the defender was not really uh, well. I mean, he was in the under the basket, but was not on this on that side. I don't know, maybe. Yes, yeah, so so got a bit too much. Like he he wedged himself uh, against between the wall and defender, and then managed to score. And they they, they have very good technique on attacking from uh, the half altitude. Yes. So there was a question: uh, if the women can play with the men, yes, you can play in the men's. Uh, tournament you can play mixed it's just in a women's tournament it's only uh, women allowed but it's not a, it's not like a world or zone championship you can you can play mixed if you in the men's tournament <laughs> so we are now um, on top of the basket oh that was a good save by the U.S. team it was about to enter the ball and uh, the defender just intercepted it and right now they're still fighting that there's chaos. Uh, Manuel Cel is coming over the same side and it was recovered uh, very well by number two. Who's number two? Uh, um, Boston? There. Uh, um, Boston. Uh, see, Tomas. I Tomas thought Alain. so. And the ball was outside the area so now it's a free throw against U.S. Let's see if now the Colombian team can um, maybe have a little bit more of a flow. They're not really on their game either because Boston is really in the way all the time. I mean, Cell is coming <laughs> again over the open side, but it's being stopped and that was a goal. I think that was a mistake when the goalies were changing and the ball came from the y side. Yes, there was uh, a space there and the uh, just Use so the older Tomas. I don't think was a auto goal, but uh, yeah, there was some space against between the wall and the, the goalie, and that was a space to score. 
Acaban de meter un gol los chicos de Orca, eh, no, eh, sí, es el segundo del partido, pero no, no la tienen fácil, el, el equipo de, de US está realmente defendiendo bien y um, veo que los chicos todavía no están realmente muy dinámicos y organizándose y haciendo las olas de ataques que suelen hacer. Eh, pero esto les pasó a muchos de los equipos. Many of the teams that had the second game today, because this is also the second game of Orcas, were not really happy with the way they played the second game of the day. The first one they were very awake and nice, and the second like took a while until they were in. So let's see. Boston is also uh, look they're in position. Then the four check-ins try to disturb uh, the flow because they know that otherwise they don't have a chance because if they move the, mm. the orcas, another the attacker didn't see that there was actually someone at the basket and uh, when his teammates was uh, tried to signal him that he was behind him that he had already passed the ball to the empty. Oh, we have one play I of think that's Camilo. Store. Uh, Camilo stole Diaz basket. just stole the basket. This is his uh, mm, <laughs> signature and that's a goal. Camilo Diaz, eh, sabemos que lo hace. Creo que todo el mundo hoy por hoy sabe que Camilo lo hace. Hasta los referees saben que lo hace. <laughs> so, 3 zero. But um, I think it's, uh, it's still a good, uh, um, can you say, it's not that there are having goals and goals and goals, uh, it's taking few minutes. I thought the minutes, score yeah. would be way higher, yeah. to be honest. That's, that's a really a good, a good game. Um, okay, oh, now Orcas La Verde. La Verde, Stone La Verde, <laughs> en una, pa, <laughs> creo que Chick with Chick said, Juan José La Verde, el más chiquito del equipo de Orcas, creo todavía tiene 20. Chiquito en edad, pero sí, puede, no en cuarto, ¿no? Sí. Este sub-21 todavía Y bueno, a ver está la mamá de La Verde, está Jacob Están todos mirando y de Boston Están todos los uh, fans Ahí alentando a los equipos So here we come uh, Again with the Orca team From the open side And who was that? that's um, uh, the 22 22 no Do we have a 32, 32? Sebastián Ochoa ah, okay. Now the last two goals happen Super fast Uh, we were already talking about it, maybe we jinxed it, but now I think it would be a good opportunity for the team maybe to take a, 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 time, a, out. a, a time out because they, they kind of lost a little bit um, their their um, positions. Huh? I mean, it was very chaotic and the Orcas really took advantage of that. Yes, and you have to concentrate again. Now it's the third time in a row that's just that starting at midfield, they meet the Orcas and they get the ball stolen immediately. Now you have you had no goalie on the basket and it was potentially very dangerous. So now we had number six, Jaya Perea, Kali. Still staying <laughs> down and it was a goal from the closed side. I didn't see who it was, someone big, maybe Samuel. No, Samuel was out, I don't know. I, I didn't see because I was reading the chat. Otro gol. ¿Quién lo metió? ¿Pudieron ver? No estaba, estaba leyendo el chat y por eso no pude ver quién metió el gol. Eh, well, 6-0. Maybe you are right. Uh, I still think that it's going to say maybe under 10, but we'll see. Let's see. There's another minute and a half Because it really left. took a, a, a long time, the ah, first three goals. So. The goal was ah, by Oviedo. Okay. Gracias. Pero Oviedo no es tan grande. Sí, están todos más pesados. Sí, todos. <laughs> todos ejercitaron mucho en el último año. So we have now the counter attack. Two against one. Okay. Wow, that was a really interesting pass. Uh, they, they, you know, cross pass. The ball went on one side and came back on this side of the of the basket. Yeah, it was was Mate really Galeano. Nice Mate Galeano was on, on the goal. Yeah. Defending and good. grabbed the ball. Went up to them. And we have another one on one. And now um, the the goalkeeper is trying to keep the other one down by pushing him and we have one of the players from Orcas trying to do like El Desornillador or like a Marla but it didn't work out so we can defend very well Let's scrum at the surface yeah we're missing a defender here that uh, you have a scrum at the surface I think it's important also to have your defender not just your goalie especially if the other team is fast because then they can position themselves well under the basket and the defender cannot come, even if they don't have the ball. Okay, so now the ball is around the basket.
Let's see, we have now one of the uh, Colombian players just stole the basket for a second there but went up and they're in the corner um, fighting for the ball but I can't see who is in possession, now we can hit, okay that was it's the end time. of the first half so it's 6-0 for Orgas, uh, Boston started very strong, it took at least um, seven minutes or so for Orcas to put to make the first three four goals but then the last two three actually were quite fast too. they happened uh, all of them within a minute and a half or two minutes so yeah, they broke them like the beginning I think Boston was defending very very well Consistent. and consistently and then I think they got a bit tired and Orcas broke them like one goal after the yeah. other immediately and, and the problem is when you commit a mistake when two goals happen quickly then normally you are a bit of in a state of mind if, if you cannot, you know, let it behind and then be in the, in the, in the situation then a third goal might happen because the, 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 I have the, the impression that the, the team is still like under, under shock because two goals happen like nothing although they were being good defenders and really fighting every millimeter and suddenly it got like a bit out of control yes. and then in this kind of mental state that when teams like Orga, teams like Norway, like the Finnish team, teams are very experienced, it's like take nothing and Yes, and they goal. also mentally on their side, like okay we just put two goals in a row, let's keep on going like exactly. that. Exactly. Yes. Hoy este es el último juego del día, estamos viendo el equipo colombiano de Orgas contra Boston Nowells y Falta un minuto del medio tiempo, o sea, de la pausa en el medio tiempo para comenzar la, la, la segunda mitad y vamos 6 a 0. Eh, han estado defendiendo muy bien los chicos de Boston por los primeros 6-7 minutos del primer tiempo, pero luego tuvieron como 2-3 goles muy rapidito, así que vamos a ver ahora si estos 3 minutos les ayudan a recuperar y a concentrarse nuevamente para poder mantener sí. el, 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 ¿cómo se llama? el score <risa> bajo. Sí, la cosa es que los de Boston también tienen un par de jugadores que son muy nuevos y otros que son un poco más más más, 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 más maduros <risa> más, 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 más de edad y que no son tan rápidos, así que no sé a nivel de endurance cuánto pueden aguantar todavía, que ya están, se nota un poco más cansados los últimos tres Jugar, minutos. Eh, ¿Jugaron antes también los de Boston? No, sé no, su no primer, juego, primer partido. Su primer juego, primer partido. Sí. Ok, so, a ver... ¿Cómo estamos los fans de los equipos? Déjenles mensajes, comenten. Cuando los equipos miren los, los, uh, los partidos pueden ver los comentarios online. Seguro que se alegran de ver que los familiares, que los amigos han dejado ahí mensajitos. Let's see. So, few seconds. Both teams are full. We, we start. 12 players on each side. And Orgas have the ball first. Oh, okay, mm, they got the ball, then it's almost... This is a big uh, difference from the first half time, because the first half time they were together at the ball, at the same time it was a big fight. Now Orgas clearly got their first pass and got through. But they also passed it to the back. To no, the back, and Orgas. then to the front. But they made a, a wall. Oh, I, I Okay, so Orgas are attacking the basket now, and it was a goal. No, not goal. Not, not yet. yet. Not uh, yet. So we're jumping in here for Lorena, and there's a call from the referee. Referees are going, oh, penalty. Penalty. It's a penalty against uh, the Boston Nailworlds. Um, always interesting. I talked to you about Annika. I don't know why, but penalties are always a special moment when you uh, watch them, because it's a one-on-one, -on -one and uh, you always think about how you would do it and how would you uh, go and defend and how would you attack. So I'm curious uh, who's going to be the uh, keeper for Boston and who's going to be the attacker for uh, the Orcas from Colombia. What was the penalty? I, I didn't see why they called holding, the penalty. Normally it should be holding, holding of a goalkeeper or shoulder in the basket. Yeah, I couldn't really see it, because it, it was uh, players all around. Is this uh, uh, Samuel? No. No. La Verde? No. Whoa, he's coming in fast. Ocho. Ocho. He's going up again. Pablo, uh, Pablo going up again, taking a breath. Uh, he really came in really fast. And it's Mate Galeano on the goal, defending. 
coming in from above again, uh, really with a lot of oh, that was elegant. <laughs> he let ho he let uh, go of the ball and just dropped it uh, above the head. It looked almost like a uh, a dance move. Uh, it was really elegant. I liked it. Yes, it was almost he lost the ball, but it yeah. casually fell into the basket. Yeah, casually. <laughs> I like that word. Casually fell in the basket. He casually by scored. By accident, actually, did fall in the in the basket. Yeah. Yeah, so that was penalty 7-0. This is how you should uh, score all the time, casually. Like that. Yeah. On purpose, it should be on purpose. No, but, but casually is more like, sure you do it on purpose, but okay. it should look casually. Okay, back, uh, we have uh, seven and a half minutes, no, 7.45 left here in the second half. Outcast in blue against the Boston Airwolves in white. And uh, it's a 7-0 lead for Colombia. And uh, Boston tried to punch through the uh, defense of Colombia. They didn't succeed. And we have four autocars here coming Just for the one. basket. Whoa. No. That was decisive by La Verde. There was no doubt about uh, where the uh, ball should be placed. Yeah, nice so push. This, this is what I was saying before, um, that it might be what would happen like against Australia a bit that the players would not roll back fast enough into yep. defense and autocars would just counter attack Overrun. and people would not be there on time and now it was the same we had four against one yep. uh, this of course you have no chance when this yes. happens yeah it's quite massive they do it and with a lot of speed oh, like, like the scene here again we have a counter whoa there was a pass under behind the back of uh, the rebound defender. pass on the floor under the defender <laughs> And the, the goal, of course. The, uh, Lisa, the self-confidence and the, the ball control you need to do this. Uh, and it, it was, you know, it was not like uh, accidentally. It was like what they do. And this is what I like about the, the Colombian game. Um, and I don't think Boston is such an easy uh, uh, opponent. Um, but they just outrun and outplay them. Yes, and now it's, I think, Boston also is getting a bit more tired. And Orcas knows that they're winning and they have understood, I guess, where um, the weaknesses of Boston yeah. are, yeah. so that they go in for them yeah. and they, they exploit them. Yes, uh, they... So they have a very good uh, under oh, the nice. game intelligence. They, yes. uh, they can, they themselves, they know how to play very well and they function together very well and then they can also are able to read the game of their opponents very well, understand it. And they react as a team to it. That's, that's amazing. Oh, the live stream, stream is, is lagging. Okay, it's back. Oh, it's a bit. Live stream is lagging. Yeah, it's a team intelligence they have because it's not just one player uh, exploiting the weakness of the other team, but it's a whole team uh, reacting to it. Wow. One against one. Who was that? No sé si alguien vio quién apuntó ahora el gol. No sé si Londoño. And you never know what they're going to do. They can uh, score themselves, they play uh, together and pass to the other one. So Ocho. Ocho so the ball. For the goalkeepers and the defenders, it's really difficult to estimate what's going to happen in front of their basket. Uh, because some teams, you know, they will go in with a brute force. Some teams will always uh, uh, play back and forth. But with the Orcas, they can lo look, look at how they break free of uh, the counter defense attack and uh, just no one, through. no one was there. There was no. not even defense was not swimming back yeah. yet. Yeah, it's defense like in the better defensive positions. I it's mean, it's like you go with a knife through paper. It's just like effortless. Yes. yes, in Boston now they're they're tired. Yeah. Oh, they took a, a timeout, which I think is a good decision on the side to regroup, take a breather a bit, get some air. Because they were more and more overrun, the, the goals, the scoring of the uh, Orcas was happening faster and faster. Yes. Uh, one thing about it took the Orcas three minutes to score the first goal, actually, and now yeah. uh, we are already at 11-0. Right now I'm enjoying uh, a beer, and uh, Lisa reminded me that uh, Budweiser was bringing us uh, a beer from uh, Budweiser. And uh, I think that started again what happened in Graz at the World Championship when I uh, promised uh, Budweiser uh, beer for each player if they score uh, um, in the game and they did 10 seconds later and uh, this just started a kind of uh, uh, we bring you beer and I promise you gold or other way around you promise me gold and we bring you beer it was interesting and it seems to happen again in the end I think Wolf sponsored quite a lot of beer to the teams yes I did <laughs> the biggest expense during the world championships <laughs> 
Okay, so timeout is out and we're starting again. So you see here the now of Boston there stay at the surface a lot when they start uh, the when they start playing again with the ball they stay at the surface and mm -hmm. then the only option you have is passing down and yep. then you have one of the Orcas players getting the ball and scoring. And they underrun them. It's really like the Orcas go down deep and with speed and they underrun. Like in the situation it was a change of the hands with the ball and they just uh, re-put the ball uh, in the basket by himself. It was uh, impressive. So again. So deeper so Boston. Now, this time there was a pass before actually the contact. That, yeah. With the team, but lost the again, ball. Was, uh, and again with the low speed, three players from Colombia coming into the basket. And Renver Camargo scoring from top 12-0. So Lorena is looking at me here in the booth. Like I, I think I had said there would be 10 to 15 goals difference, and then Lorena thought it's around eight. So. But it, it's it's. Um, you withstand uh, a team, like you said, it took them for the first goal three uh, minutes, but to withstand an avalanche of uh, a team like the Orcas, you lose a lot of energy and focus, and uh, this is how Boston pays now for it. They're just like uh, uh, overrun and again and again on the swim, and they cannot even, they don't even manage to really break into the half of uh, the Colombians, and they're stopped on the way. And then the brutal counter-attacks come when the uh, three to two Orcas just punch through. But okay. here we see... Uh, yeah. You see sorry. here, sorry, their defender uh, is standing, the last player is actually quite, uh, quite fast, in, quite in, the far in the pool. Mm -hmm. And there is no way it's, they will be able to counter yeah. on time a no. fast counter-attack from, from Orcas. Even so. the time to take the, it takes them to type down is, is more than it takes the Orcas to cross yeah. the whole pool. And here but we here have Boston attacking, actually, close to the basket, but it's one player against three, four players of Orcas. Uh, so it, that's where you see that, that the Narwhals are tired. That was a pass uh, through his own uh, feet in a, in, a, in a turnaround. Nice movement, beautiful movement, and very playful movement. This is what I like about the uh, uh, Orcas style. It's also very playful. It's, it's strong, it's hard, it's fast. But it's also playful. You see, they they enjoy what they're doing. Yes. Okay, but now it's Chaboom. another goal. Wow. Okay, number. There was the the goalkeeper was just a, there was a little gap, and it's just in the movement and the turn of the player waiting on the open side. He just pushed it into this gap. Uh, amazing. Yeah, so that was goal. I think it was Samuel. Uh, I think it was Samuel Gaviria scoring number eleven. But let's see, I think Boston is playing now the last couple minutes a bit more collected. Also, they were able to break through and playing a bit around the Orcas basket. So, they got some air, they... It always gives, you, it, it gives the team yeah, an opportunity to focus again. If you have some time where you're not only defending, but you can actually use your technique and make, make your game a bit, even if then you get scored on, it's your regroup and get it concentrated again. Mm, nice interception. And a counter-attack again from the Orcas. <laughs> and the turns, wow, well saved by the goalkeeper. I think that's Thomas? No. That was, uh, congratulations to that save. Because the movement, I think it was La Verde again, he did... Uh, 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 was coming very fast and very yeah, strong. Yeah, torquing into, into this, uh, into the defense uh, of the one-on-one -on -one situation. Yes, so now... Call from Penalty the referee. for Orcas? Is it? Yeah, looks like. Okay. So this now would be great to have actually um, yeah, an access sound to, from to yep. sound from yep. the referees because we don't know where they got the penalty and we also don't have a replay so we cannot really say. So maybe... No sé si vio alguien en internet si alguien sabe por qué les dieron penalty a los Orcas que nosotros no vimos y tampoco escuchamos. So we have attacking number 32. Oh, he's trying the Merla. Oh, and he has his hands. Wow, this is interesting. He is not allowed to have his hands in the basket. So we have again Sebastián Ochoa Ooh. against Mate Galeano. Oh. And that's a goal. But it was hard. It was not that uh, easy to put it through. No. And, and I'm not sure. What do you say, Lisa? Putting your both hands into the basket 
I think you're not allowed to put any part of your body in the basket. You're not allowed to wedge into the basket. If you have the, your hand, no. but they're free standing around, you just put your hand, but you're not doing anything with them. I think you're allowed. Not sure. I, I think I remember you're not allowed to put any part of your body in the basket. You're not allowed to hold onto the basket. That too. Plus, well. End of the game, uh, last game, uh, and this was game number 19 here on Champions Cup uh, 31. 31 and, games. Uh, it was an amazing day already, and I was talking to uh, Reinhard Schottmüller, the uh, old beer of the, um, the Mulch team, and I said, uh, yeah, we, we really love the atmosphere around the pool at the Champions Cup, and he said, yeah, that's one of the reasons. Uh, we definitely want to come to the Champions Cup because uh, the atmosphere here with all the teams from all over the world and it's it's a family atmosphere, it's really relaxed and uh, although you have a, a high competition going on in the water, everybody outside the water is friendly and, and smiling and the whole atmosphere is quite relaxed and uh, everything is running smooth. We are super good in time. Uh, we have now, uh, what time is it, uh, Lisa? Well, it's... No, it's, uh, it's uh, 5 to 9. Um, perfect. Well, aquí son las 5 para las 9. Muchas gracias por haber visto los partidos con nosotros hoy. Así acaba el primer día de la Champions Cup, de la... De la... De la 30... 1. primera. Sí. 31. Champions Cup número 31 aquí en Berlín. Eh, el último partido del día fue Orcas contra Boston Arwells. Acabó 15-0 para los Orcas de Colombia. Y muchas gracias a todos los fans que estaban viendo, los, los familiares, los amigos, siguiendo el partido en el chat, dándonos mucha información también sobre quiénes han dado los goles y cómo estaba yendo todo, que conocen a los jugadores mucho mejor que nosotros. Y así nos vemos mañana. Auch vielen Dank an die Zuschauer in Deutschland, die bei uns im Livestream zugeschaut haben und im Live-Chat waren. Ich hoffe, ihr habt die Spiele genossen und morgen sehen wir Malch auch wieder im Wasser, den deutschen Meister. Gute Nacht von Berlin in die Welt. Merci pour tout le monde, regardez le Livestream. Merci à tous d'avoir regardé le Livestream uh, oui, de la 31e Champions Cup. C'est ce que je voulais dire. <laughs> Euh, là. Alors, euh, les, les, euh, le team de Bordeaux euh, m'est comprimé pour euh, mon français, mais euh, je plus l'exercice et euh, n'importe quoi je parle. Et euh, j'aime beaucoup d'avoir euh, en, euh, en équipe euh, de France ici. Et Bordeaux joue demain matin le premier match contre Molde à 8h du matin. Uh, then, so we have Molde against Bordeaux. Tomorrow, so Nor Norway against France. Uh, first game tomorrow at 8 a.m. Then we have Ege against Zurich and uh, Budjovice against Firenze and Vienna against Barcelona. Goals against Norway. So we have the five first games will be men's games and we will switch to uh, four women's games. So Amager, Helvetia, Orcas, Mekos, Black Mermaids, Barcelona and Vienna, Firenze tomorrow. This is until 12.30 and that will be the end of the group phase. So we have ten, nine games tomorrow. And the last phase. game uh, tomorrow will be at uh, 8.45. So we will finish around uh, 8, 9.15, so probably a little bit like today. So tomorrow is going to be a long day uh, with underwater rugby and the live transmission. Yes, so we will have, sorry, we will have, uh, sorry, Wolf. The first game, uh, two times 15 minutes, actually, the game before last tomorrow will be two times 15 minutes. Yes. And because uh, all, what is it, the only game, actually, two times, there's only two games that are two times 15 minutes. And the finals again. I think that's the same in finals, could it be? Yes, but it's written wrong, apparently, on the game plan, because the finals are written two times 10. Oh, huh, okay. We'll see tomorrow, we'll get a new plan. Yes. And... Uh, yeah, bah. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the live stream. Um, uh, Lorena is uh, here with us. No, it's uh, Annika behind Annika. us. Annika is behind us. So, we have uh, today we had six people commenting. So, we had Wolf, Lorena, Annika, Beate, Torsten, Lisa. and myself, Lisa. So, that was uh, four women and just two men commentating, which I think is a big first. Last year we had the first. Uh, totally women's true. duo commentating was Lorena last and Champions myself. Cup, yep, uh, last year. And this year we actually had uh, most of the day. It was 
two women, I think, or at least. Yeah. I think that's that's an also an important point. I like to play uh, rugby with uh, women and against women because they think they play more intelligent. And I think the way you the way you look at the game and you commentating is different to the uh, men's perspective. So um, I think that's a good thing to have uh, women only teams commentating the games. It's a different perspective, and I like that a lot. So uh, we're gonna uh, push forward in that direction. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank so you very much, everybody. Good the, night to the world. For the 91 people still watching, we are now switching our microphones off, and uh, there is nothing more happening right now. <laughs> you can Thanks a lot. Thank Good you night for to watching. The world. Good night. Good night.